Casey McKinnon is live at the Little Italy Food Hall with more. Casey, I'm just going to make it a mission to go to Not Not Tacos and then Sandburgers. <laughs> All in a row. <laughs> I mean, you really get the trifecta when you come over here because he also has Gray's right across right. the street. So Sam, the cooking guy, is doing some big things. And a lot of people think that Not Not Tacos went away, but it is actually right over there for a bigger and better space. So Not Not Tacos is still here in the Little Italy Food Hall. But opening today is Sam Burgers. And I have Sam, the cooking guy, with us. This is a very exciting day for you. I'm excited you're here. And let me just tell the people watching at home why you you are so good. Casey reached out, I don't know, a month and a half ago, two months ago, and said, please, when you open, can I be first there with a the camera? And here <laughs> well, you I are. I want to be the first one to try a Samburger. Well, you, you are going to be the first, officially, to try a <laughs> Samburger. Tell us about this concept and how it came to be. So, you know, we, we, we took over a big restaurant in Seaport Village, and like a month later, the pandemic hit. We couldn't open for a proper restaurant. So we started thinking, what can we do? We th had thrown around the idea of burgers before. We said, let's go for it. So we opened our first Sandburgers down there, just for takeouts and, uh, and uh, pick up yeah. and sit outside and stuff. Uh, and it's done really well. In fact, it's been huge with third party delivery, Uber Eats, DoorDash, that kind of stuff. And one of the restaurants in the food hall quietly went out into the night and we went, well, there's a space, maybe we should. And so we did. So. We softly opened Wednesday, but today officially our first day. Glad that you're here. So happy that you're here. We took down our banner this morning, a little ceremony for ourselves, and now we get to bring Sandburgers to the people of Little Italy. This is our hot dog, and you can customize this any way you want. Uh, it's with a side of our elote corn salad. This is our blazing saddles. There's an herby ranch in there, spicy barbecue sauce, these onion straws up on top. Uh, and bacon, of course, with a side of our tots. And this is our not so basic basic. Not so basic basic because it's a pretty basic burger. Meat, cheese, onions, and sauce. But not so basic because it's so freaking delicious. It really <laughs> is. But we, it's missing one thing. Can I have the branding iron? So the not so basic basic, Sam's favorite, comes branded with my ridiculous, face, my ridiculous face. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And then you're going to do one later. So apply pressure to the top. We evenly come down and we're out. And there I am. Look at that. Is it true that every bun from the burgers that you make has that on it? No, only this one. Only the not so basic. This one, nope, nothing on top of the blazing saddles. Just this one. And I don't know why, but Howard is my food mentor here. He's the one that said, let's just put your face on one of them. And we have, and you're gonna taste this at some point. It is so good. We use a sirloin brisket and short rib in this as a uh, pri, um, a pri, what's the word I'm looking for? Proprietary blend, thank okay. you. And it is so good. It's beef forward, it's delicious, the sauce is great, the caramelized onions underneath there really make it a great burger. Sam, what does this mean to you and your family to open up Sam Burgers right next to Not Not Tacos and across the way from Gray's right here in the Little Italy? Look, clearly um, our group is committing to Little Italy. We believe in it. We've been here through the pandemic. Business has been a roller coaster, starting to come back on strong now. And we're coming into the really perfect time for this part of San Diego. Visitors are starting to come back. The Arizonans, Arizonans will be coming in, and it's great. We love it here. It's great to have everything closed, and I can be here saying hello to people, uh, shaking hands, kissing babies, all the stuff that I love to do yeah. while these guys back here get to make my food beautiful and, and gorgeous for all of us. Well, they're already here opening day. They open at 1130 today right here in the Little Italy Food Hall. If you're not feeling a burger, go get a Not Not Taco. But really exciting things for Sam the Cooking Guy and his family out here. So Paul and Lauren will go ahead and send things back to you. But are you hungry yet? Yes. Yep. Yes. At the start. Yep. Looks delicious. Jeez. <laughs> He's a cottage industry all to himself. I know. Taking over the food hall. Yeah, well done, Sam. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Casey. Casey.